Okay folks, it's Chloe here at Straub's Music. Um, just a quick short tutorial here for anyone who's looking to have a pedal board for an electric but also be able to maintain the pedal board with an acoustic as well. Um, so they're not using two different pedal boards and things can get really tricky with leads everywhere and whatever. Um, the leads are bad enough on this board which I need to sort out so um, no negativity please on the comments. Um, so yeah, so of course I've got my tuner at the start. Um, this is the lead that will go into my guitar. Um, of course this is the input lead that goes straight into the boss. I've then got my Dynacomp compression linked in to my True Tone overdrive. Then that's linked in to my chorus pedal which now this is where I went wrong for the first time. Um, I then put my chorus pedal into B, um, but it doesn't. The chorus, um, the chorus lead then goes into the in-out of your switch pedal. I'm using a Fender ABY pedal here. Um, so your last um, effects pedal should go into the in and out. And then I've got my B, which is the side I'm gonna use for my electric, for my electric side. That output then goes into, um, depending on what you can use A or B, and um, for this example I've just got it in B, um, but that then goes straight in to the return on B as you can see and my output lead there will go straight into the amp. That's how it works. And then my switch for the acoustic of course is A, so the A is going out and going straight into my um, LR bags if you've got a pedal for your acoustic that you use um, or if not then obviously you can just go from A straight into your A link into your A return and then your output will go straight into the PA. Because I'm using a DI pedal um, the best effect I can get from this DI is of course using an XLR um, so rather than me use the, the kind of um, output of this I use the uh, XLR to come out to get the best um, of the effects from this pedal because it's classed as a DI as well and a compression. Um, I will then plug this straight into the PA through the XLR input. Sorry, there's the cat there messing around. He wants feeding, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, that's how it works. Of course, I unmute that. It's also an idea if you are using an acoustic pedal that has compression is to make sure that that's turned off. Otherwise, you get some hissing sound in the PA. But um, well, that's more or less it. So that's how I use my Fender ABY pedal or a switch pedal, which you can use. And this means that I can take my pedal board, if I'm doing a, a set where I'm playing electric and acoustic, I can just literally take this one board and it's just so much easier than fannying around with two different boards, one for the acoustic and one for the electric. So anyway, I hope you've found that useful. If there's any questions, please ask and don't forget to subscribe to my um, YouTube site, which is Straub's Music. And I hope to see you soon. Thanks a lot, guys. Any feedback appreciated.